Firefighters, EMS, and others are questioning the Travis County DA's office because they think prosecutors went too easy on a former AFD lieutenant. Today, James Baker pleaded guilty to recording video of a female firefighter that he supervised in the women's locker room. He'll serve five years probation. KXAN's Jacqueline Powell was there as a crowd packed the courthouse for his plea. So let's give Kelly a great, great big applause for just being here today. Friends, co-workers, and people who don't even know her personally stood outside the Travis County Courthouse in support of firefighter Kelly Gall, who came forward as the victim of former AFD Lieutenant James Baker's invasive recording. The things she's had to endure are unimaginable. She's had to do this pretty much in silence, trying to work through a court case, thinking she's going to get justice in the end. But as this group followed Gall up to the courtroom and sat in on Baker's guilty plea, they didn't feel that she did. We're extremely disappointed of the outcome, that he can walk away without even a prosecution on his record. As part of his plea deal, Baker's public record will be wiped clean of the felony charge once he finishes his five years of probation. He'll spend no time in jail. It's a bad day for women, women in Travis County. And if it wasn't Williamson, if it wasn't Hayes, it would be a different story. The firefighters union blames Travis County DA Margaret Moore for being too lenient. And she explained how this is they worked very hard on this case and it's the best the best they could do. And I believe she believes that. I was Jacqueline Powell reporting. In addition to his probation, Baker will never be allowed to serve as a firefighter or EMT again. The punishment for this type of offense is anywhere from six months to two years in jail, in addition to that five years of probation. But District Attorney Margaret Moore says that there are a few factors going into that lesser sentence in this case. She sent us a statement explaining that Baker's punishment reflects the fact that he had no criminal history before and is at a low risk for reoffending. David, we had a little bit of a